So just to focus on, on limit management for a moment, um, traditionally each trading system um, focused on either a particular asset class or potentially a particular region, you know, there, there was a particular deployment of a, of a trading system and managing limits was managed within the trading system. So th there may be limit management around trading a certain type of derivative baked into your trading platform. It could be Murex, it could be Summit, it could be Calypso. Um, but fundamentally, if you've got seven or eight different trading systems, or in some cases for the, the bigger banks, 100, 150 trading systems, that's 150 different places that you're managing li limits, either trading limits, currency limits, credit limits, um, which is inefficient and you get differences if you're trading the same product across different platforms. So an, uh, a trend that we're seeing at the moment is to centralize limit management. Um, limit management belongs at the entity level because it's the, the legal entity itself um, to which the limits apply. So if it's an extension of, of managing a party or, or a legal entity to manage the limits in one place and then distribute that out to the various trading systems. So it's a reversal of the typical way of thinking. And most of the trading system vendors will say, don't worry, we have limit management capability, and they do, but it's very dispersed and fragmented and, and therefore not necessarily very efficient. So centralizing limit management close to the party, so make it part of the party data management flow, um, is an increasing trend we're seeing, for, especially for global banks.